Yeah, and that's something that I want to quickly touch on is basically that a lot of people are saying that the provincial government's lack of jumping in or even the federal is because the market is so volatile that basically our economy right now is being propped up on Vancouver and Toronto real estate. And so kind of any intervention could potentially, you know, um, cause just a major there's potential. Like I think there's yeah, a recent report claims that 50, a 15 percent price reduction in Vancouver real estate would leave 13 percent of mortgages underwater. Um, yeah. So I mean, how do we make these changes without potentially? Absolutely. I mean, this is this is the kind of stuff that keeps and should hopefully keep uh, the regulators up uh, overnight. I and mean, they really have let this problem go on mm -hmm. far too long. Yeah. People in Metro Vancouver are way too far in debt, and uh, even a small interest rate increase is going to result in some exactly. pretty devastating consequences for families. Yeah. So that's a major issue. I think that that one is arresting the continued price increases so that they're that we don't continue down this path that we're going by yes, taxing the yeah. international money, right? So. And, and ideally manage that demand side. And then also on the supply side, uh, looking at how we can start building uh, rental housing and housing that is affordable to people who live and work here uh, through government intervention, active government involvement uh, in producing housing is gonna be critically important. And so just one example, universities are, uh, and colleges aren't allowed to borrow money to build student residences. Yeah. If they were allowed to borrow that money to build student residences where the rents actually pay for that mortgage um, and cover all the costs, uh, then they would create tens of thousands of units of rental housing across the province and that would take a huge amount of pressure off mm -hmm. the rental housing market. So it's ideas like that that we need to be looking at and uh, ensuring the government is dedicated and focused on the issue of creating affordable housing for people uh, because right now they're not focused on that. What do you say to the people that say it's all supply and demand? You know, I agree. You know, the demand that we're facing right now is pretty clearly because uh, incomes are so disconnected from prices. The demand's coming from outside Metro Vancouver. Yeah. Um, and so we need to deal with that demand issue. The supply issue is a very serious one. We don't have a supply of rental housing. We're not building rental housing. We don't have a supply of affordable housing for people who live here. I think we need to figure out ways that we can do that. And I think that's actually the job of government. And unfortunately, uh, this government doesn't think that's their job.